Refuse to start the week without a plan, man. Refuse to start the week without a plan. You know, um, a lot of us, a lot of entrepreneurs will talk about how I hope the week goes well. Well, hope is not a strategy, you know, because, I mean, if you're hoping for something and not putting um, in place all the tangible space, measurables, not space, but steps for you to be able to achieve the goals that you're looking for. And I mean, that's similar to kissing in the dark, you know, spraying and praying, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna hit those milestones. So refuse to start the week without a plan, but you know, planning, you know, you know, planning towards your week, you know, it's, it's that amount to planning to win, to win. So a couple of things that I want you to do is, number one, stop procrastinating, stop living in your head, stop just keeping those ideas to yourself and in your head, but bring them out to life. The first thing that you need to do is that, you know, do an observation, an overview. What did you do in the previous week or the previous month? How do you be out? Do you better some of those actions? Number two, write down clear, actionable items for the new week. Number three, delegate to your staff members. And then number four, you know, be very intentional with each and every day. Hold yourself accountable and measure the output of every effort that you're putting in. But most importantly, Get things done, man. Refuse to start the week without a plan. Refuse to start the day without a plan. Be accountable for your time and be intentional with every step that you take and work towards your purpose and work towards your goal and hold yourself accountable. Get things done.